spot in uh, that show. What was it called again? Penis Landing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I was on that. You know, James Vanderbeek. He's a James great actor. James Vanderbeek. Man, I think we all fell in love a little bit with James in that show, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, I know I certainly did, yeah. Young, lovely young man. Lovely. Yeah, yeah, he's a great guy, Vanderbeek. Yeah, yeah. Or, uh, I, as I call him, VDB. Oh, that's good, yeah. <laughs> VDB. <laughs> you're funny, you're a funny guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. yeah. So, what can I do for you, Danny? No, I was just uh, trying to find out where you got that April tire. <laughs> yeah, I wear this tire once a month. Yeah, no, I'm looking for a nice tire for Easter. Just want to know where you got that. <laughs> a nice tie for Easter. That's, that's, that's right, that's what I said. <laughs> what do you need a tie for Easter for? Well, I like to get dressed up, you know, when I have my ham, you know, my eggs and whatnot. <laughs> you dress up and wear a tie to have a ham? Yeah, man, I'm Danny Glover. I do it right. Oh, okay. <laughs> you know, just like you, I'm getting too old for this. Shit. I swear, but I swear this, if I'm still on the air in a month, I'll wear this tie. Right Actress. She stars in A Haunted House 2. Ooh. Oh, good for you! Well done! <laughs> Wasn't that clever? <laughs> she stars in A Haunted House 2. Ooh. In theaters today. Take a look at this. this and I love this. Great team. Hair, makeup, stylist, well, yeah, great lighting. We could all look fabulous. Great lighting? Mm-hmm. Talk shows have the best lighting, especially for women, because it blows us out completely, so we look way more airbrushed than we really are. I know. <laughs> Works for me, too. Yep. You, oh, sorry. You look great, though. I love this short cut. It's very, uh... Thank you. Kind of like, mm-hmm. My, uh, my hairdresser, Jonathan Hanasek, uh, shopped and he did a great job. It's actually his birthday today. Oh, happy birthday! Yeah. Happy birthday, Jonathan! Good. That's good. It's always nice to start off wishing your hairdresser a happy birthday. And yeah, yeah. Let's pull ahead of the other late night shows. <laughs> look, they make me look good. I wouldn't look like this without them, so well, you gotta you thank look them. Great. You obviously you have a fitness regime as well. Cool. Yeah, well, trainer Mike Jones beats me. Oh, is it his birthday, uh, Mike? No. Uh, no, it's his birthday on Sunday, Oh, though. well, happy birthday, Mike. And uh, kale, you probably eat a lot of kale. Not a bit. No? Yeah, that, what, because it's a fad? I don't need to eat it because everybody said it's hot right now. Well, I'm sorry if I'm in show business. No, I don't eat it either. I don't care for it, actually. It just sounds to me like hipster cabbage. Yeah. Yeah. What is that? This is a snake. I have it because it's a kind of Freudian penis thing. Why? Oh, uh, I was born in the year of the snake. Were you? Really? Yeah. yeah. That would make you 23. That is a cr correct. Good. Do you have a little one now? I do. My little boy uh, is going to actually be seven in May, Desi. Oh, oh, that's great. I'll be doing the show here in May at some point. Yeah. <laughs> that's 
lovely. Seven years old. That's yes, and you have two. I have two. Yeah, one uh, will be. A boy and a girl, right? No, two boys. Oh, you have two boys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty, pretty sure. Okay. Uh, How old are they? Uh, they're they're getting up there. Like twelve. Twelve. One, one's a twelve and one's three. Okay. I feel you're judging me there a little bit. I, what, 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 because I don't uh, have them often enough? Uh, no, look, there's going to be the same amount of space between Desi and whichever child I have. When well, it's yeah, right. because yeah. you've got seven years, unless you've got one cooking right now. No. Okay, then. We, we, are you going to go again, don't you think? Yeah, more? definitely. Right, good. Absolutely. Yeah, good. I always wanted three, but I don't know how that's going to work out. I have to say, though, and you'll probably agree, having an only child is very difficult because I don't want to play Legos every five seconds of the day. I don't want to play up. Actually, I would play outside. Yeah, yeah, playing outside is all right. That's the problem, is they want to play inside. I don't do video games. Our generation didn't do video games. I didn't have any video games. I didn't either. I, I like that you put me in your generation, but let's be honest. I'm... High five. No, thank you. Uh, no, in my, my generation, we had, uh, our video game was a, a hoop, and, uh... Huh? No, but I mean, for instance, like, have you seen the, the movie This is 40? Oh, yeah. Remember, yeah. remember when she... Remember, well, there's, there's a part where the, the mom says to the daughter, why don't you guys build a fort? And she's like, and do what with it? We would build a fort and play in it all day. Did you sit in it? Yeah, yeah, And yeah, then yeah. come back the next day and do the same thing. Our kids want to stay, they're like, I, I played outside, it's been 15 minutes, it's hot. Um, and then they go back inside, yeah, yeah, and, then and they want to play video games. Well, you know what gets me, though, is when you're raising kids now, and you have to be nice to them all the time. Yeah. <laughs> Our parents are that, not as nice as that we are. No, first uh, yeah. of all, it takes way more energy to be a parent now than it did when our parents were parents, because yeah. they would say, go outside and then come back when the, the lights come on. Yeah. Our kids, we can't say that because... It's tough in L.A. It's tough, well, big <laughs> cities in general, but if I were back, you know, when we go back home to North Carolina every right. summer, I can say, go out and play, and he gladly does. But it's safe. It's a small town. It's a different thing, and they have the whole, you know, it takes a village well, to raise a child theory, so it's a philosophy. So everybody looks after everybody, and it's not like that in big towns. Well, if you, in L.A., you can do it a little differently. You know what I do is if a 12-year-old, I say, look, there's a kind of spray paint. Go ahead, do a little tag in, meet some friends. <laughs> Here's a little blue rag and a little red rag. Wear whatever one you have to wear. <laughs> Whichever one you need to fit in. Yeah, that'd be all right. <laughs> you guys just do me there? <laughs> Man. So that's good then. So you are uh, you go back to North Carolina a lot. That's yeah. good. Yeah. And yeah. My, my nephew Justin's getting married soon. Um, so we're going to go back and he's very excited about it. Yeah. He loves North Carolina. If we could live there and I still do what I do, we would. But unfortunately, 3,000 miles across the country is a bit Yeah, hard. no, you can't. You can't be making haunted house, too. Ooh. Nice way to bring it back. Thank you. Yeah. And uh, in North... You haven't been here for ages. I just remember that. Yeah, the last time I was here, I think, was for Earl. Years ah, ago. Yeah, that's... Because that's still going, though, right? No, I mean, it is. Thank <laughs> Thankfully, it is residual-wise. Oh, well, yeah, there you go. Mm -hmm. um, but no, I, I actually... Uh, when shooting Haunted House 2, I met... The wonderful Missy Pyle fell in love with her and cast her as my best friend on my new show, Jennifer Falls, on TV Land. It'll be out June 4th. That's great. A TV Land? Yeah. Good, guys. Have you been hot in Cleveland? I actually, yes. Oh, you got to that yes. big show, hot I Cleveland. did hot in Cleveland, and uh, it, was, it aired a couple weeks ago. Um, and we actually, they're going to be our lead in. We're coming on. Jennifer Falls will be coming on right after Hot and Cold. That's what you want, because that's their Absolutely. big show. On. That's Betty White. and uh, Incredible you know, show. Yeah. Betty and I just shot the campaign, as well as Cedric, who's also in Haunted House, too. Really? Yeah, so Haunted House. You guys are like the rap Cedric pack. Cedric and me, and then Missy Pyle. I mean, we, we're all, yeah. Oh, good. It's a good group. Yeah, it's a Haunted House, you have to watch. So Cedric makes. Uh, he now, will you makes be able to cry. follow it? Will you be able to follow it if you haven't seen Haunted Dice 1? You can follow it, absolutely. It's <laughs> it's not brain surgery. <laughs> <laughs> it's a spoof. It's a spoof. It's movie. a spoof, and and Marlon Wayans is incredible in it, and and the rest of the cast as well. Um, but he and his partner Rick Alvarez wrote this really great script that Marlon refused to stick to once we got to set. Yeah. So, so it's it's basically this really funny movie with tons of improv and incredible incredible comedic actors um 
I, I do have to tell you though, like you watch this movie and you will see why. I mean, uh, Cedric is the, one of the kings of comedy. Very, very funny man. Yeah, he's, he's got, everything. Just so you know, when you see it, everything he did in that movie is completely off the cuff improv. Did he and wear his hat? Uh, in one scene. All right, he's got to wear his hat. <laughs> in one of the scenes, he did. He's yeah. brilliant. Everybody in it is, and it was it was a lot. This of fun. sounds like it's the Oscar contender for next year. This movie. <laughs> Same. You have to take a break. We'll be right back to Jenny Presley, everybody, it's, uh, we're, we're out of time. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, kind of. Really? Yeah, we talked for a long time. Yeah, but it was such a good convo, right? Yeah. Whoa, 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 whoa. First of all, don't call it a convo right no, here. A convo. Can you do it? Do you want to play Downton Abbey with me? Yeah, but you'd be the Scottish version. I could do it like this. I could talk to you this way. But well, I could talk to you like this, this way. Yeah, well, you know what? I'm not really good at Scottish. It's not my thing. But do you know the Presleys are all f from Scotland, actually? I know. Really? Yes, I've met them. You met the Presleys, my entire family? Yes. That's strange. They used to, <laughs> they used to clean the chimneys at the manor. Oh, did they? <laughs> for you. Yeah, I know. Uh, Are you in therapy at all, my love? No, not not at the moment. Uh, well, you? Well, I've got a pipe. Mm. We all have a pipe. <laughs> I suppose, in a way. Do you want an awkward pause, or do you want to listen to Enya or something? Um, Enya's a little, little off-putting for me at the moment. Right now, I'd like to talk about funny things. What would you guys like to talk about? <laughs> She's not really asking you, don't <laughs> Anyway, we're out. Let's just do a quick one. Just a quick one. Quick one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I see. You went for the bra adjustment. <laughs> Very nice. It's the old go-to. Ah, the old go-to. Mm. Should we go back to Duncan Abbey? <laughs> I think it might have been much more interesting for the audience. What do you think? I don't know, but I'm enjoying talking like this. I am as well. I really am as well. Hmm. <laughs> Jamie Presley, everybody.